Just a heads up, the following podcast, we had some technical issues with the audio. People's internet was fucking up and shit. So you might hear a little bit of crackling, uh, popping noise every once in a while while listening to the podcast. Nothing too serious, but I'm letting you know right now we, we were struggling. Dear God, I want to kick you What's up, losers? NWN here, aka the Honorable Black Okage, whom's village is hidden in the chronic leaves, and welcome back to the Game and Illuminati podcast. This show is finally out of its teens. We're adults now. We made it to episode 20, folks. And of course, I've got my co host. He's the leader of the Sneak Distant Underground and the Byron Mounds of Gaming, Game Fanatic. Can we get your opening statement, sir? Go. Yo, what's good? What's good? Um, opening statement is I want to thank everybody who shows your man love during his hard times. You know, my father tragically died about two weeks ago. And uh, I just want to say thanks for all the condolences. And if you didn't give me a condolence then you don't have to give me one now because I'm all done with the morning and everything. So I don't really need condolences. And uh, for the people who gave those, why do you guys say if there's anything you need, just let me know. <laughs> I, I, i'm not gonna lie i was looking at some of those tweets i'm like yeah what is what are you gonna do if you only if you can raise my dad from the dead and he ain't a flesh eating zombie then yeah do that but other than, <laughs> i don't understand why people say that but thanks though i do appreciate it though so thanks for all that man there and i'm is. good now and i'm back and you know let's get it in they was just trying to get your address so they could see what you look like but uh yeah. <laughs> and uh <laughs> My other co-host is known for having tons of tons of crumbs in his pencil thin ass beard. UTX Nene to Don. Can we get your opening statement, sir? Go. Don't be mad because you got beard in me, son. The beard first, is real. First of all, beard, you don't you don't gang. have a beard. You have a chin strap, nigga. Nigga, you, this is not a this is not a chin strap. You need you need to you look have again. a chin strap. You need to look My again. This is not a chin strap. This is not a chin strap. This is not a chin strap. You know strap. what? Light skinned niggas get a little bit of testosterone out of it. They all something, bro. This Whatever, is not a chin bro. strap. I think you need to look a little hard. I think Rick I think Ross your has eyes... a beard. Can you get can you get crumbs? Uh, do crumbs get uh, <laughs> cotton it? Do, do crumbs get cotton it? Yeah, and it could. Yeah. I don't believe you. That wasn't a very uh, convincing. It's, yeah, it's it's growing. It's growing anyway. So there, I ain't got no chin strap. It's not it's not a Rick Ross's level. I'm gonna you know say what? that I just started growing it, motherfucker. So you going you going for the Rick Ross level? No, nah, I'm no, nah, I'm, I'm not going that for it. That's that's oh, a little bit too much. I think I think man. that's the uh, that's for the fat dudes. I'm not on that shit. I don't think uh, I look stupid so with a Rick apparently, Ross. Apparently, that's too much. Fat dudes have big beards. Okay, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's just the image. That's just the image, son. They they do be having a big ass beard. Well, you know, white people like them hippies and shit. They be having big ass beards and shit. They be having long beards. It, it don't be big. Like they just be having little stupid long beards. But anyways, yeah, good. I know, I know that y'all been, I know that y'all been missing us. So we here about to get this cracking. And uh, my opening statement for today is shout out to the clown in the comments on my Titanfall review who said that I hated all games because I said that Titanfall isn't perfect. Even though I made a top ten games of 2012 and 13, somehow I hate every single game ever created because. I don't. I didn't think Titanfall was perfect, which actually I gave it a pretty positive review. But you know, because I said it wasn't perfect, I hate all games. All right, I'm done. Couple of announcements before we get into the show. Um, PSN Plus members get Tomb Raider, Dead Nation, Thomas Was Alone, Unit 13, and Monster Hunter for free this month. Well, not really for free, but y'all know what I'm saying. They're giving you those games. Um, Xbox Live members, you guys get Civilization Revolutions and Dungeon Hunters, so look out for those <laughs> games. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's, so, that's so bad, Tick got to bust out laughing. That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, man, I'm not gonna lie, yo, PSN is shit though. I'm kind of excited though because they got the Monster Hunter for PS Vita. I really, I do want that game. I'm gonna download that. Um, Sony Pony Power, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a pony, okay. <laughs> uh, Eat that Microsofties. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's only to the people that, you know, y'all some dickhead fanboys, y'all Microsofties. We're not calling y'all, Mike. what do they call them, Xbox? No, that's just yeah, corny. You're a Microsofty, Xbox. son. You're a Microsofty. I don't know. Softy kind of sound kind of weird. Yo, it's calling them a fruitcake, though. You know, if you call somebody soft, then you know they... You call them that. I'm going to stick to Xbox. <laughs> that shit's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Like Trey Melvin. All right. Um, Twitch, uh, Twitch streaming. It is no, now, it's the, Twitch streaming is now available on the Xbox One. It launched alongside the uh, Titanfall. So uh, you guys can stream your games away on the Xbox One with the built-in app. And yeah. 
of course if you're not aware there is a titanfall xbox one bundle for 4.99 so you get the xbox one plus a free copy of titanfall in case you guys were interested in buying an xbox I mean, one you don't have to waste your money yeah or you could just buy the pc or the 360 version but whatever um microsoft news let's get into that News is broken that Microsoft is considering banning campers. And do you guys think this is the answer to solving the camping issue in shooters? Because that's mainly what it plagues. Who wants to take the floor? Go. Um, I thought we already talked about this. But anyway. We did. Oh, okay. But, well, you know, but... that was on the, the Lost. <laughs> yeah, that's when I the was lost. struggling. <laughs> the Lost Archive is the podcast number 20. Um, But yeah, um... Yeah, I don't think that's true. I think that's kind of a, you know, a little joke that Microsoft is doing. Um, because if you do that, you're gonna lose a lot of fan base, um, and a lot of people in the Xbox community. Because like, there's people that have different playing styles, and I, I know we all hate campers. I hate campers for one, but like, that's campers are there for a reason. They're to counteract rushers and people like that, and it's a whole different playing style. And I believe that it still should be in the game, and as you shouldn't penalize people for camping. Now, if you want to give people, you know, the right to make their own servers and they can mod it somewhat like on PC, you know, if you ever play Counter-Strike, there's that mod. If you sit in one place for too long, it'll put a beacon around you that'll keep bleeping and it, it'll put a little circle around you that spreads out so the enemy team can see and hear you. And there's also an added mod to that where at the certain amount of seconds, you'll actually explode and die. <laughs> and anybody next to you will die too. So if they do that, then yeah, that's a good way to counter it. But other than that, I don't think Microsoft themselves should, you know, penalize somebody for playing a, with a different playing style. This is stupid. If they do this, it's going to open the floodgates because first they're going to start banning campers. Then they're going to ban um, 360 Snipers. no scopers. Matter of fact, do ban them. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's like if you give them an inch, they can take a mile. So if, like if you let them do this, then they're going to be they're basically dictating the way that you play the game. So. Hopefully this is just a rumor. I, I don't agree about it. Well, what about yeah, you, JD? That's that's really no fun. Yeah, like Chick said, we we all hate campers, but we can't tell someone what they what they can do when they pay sixty dollars to buy the game, and um, it shouldn't be up to Microsoft at all or any any developer. Well, not developer. I mean the actual company. It shouldn't be up to them anyways. If the developer really hates whatever play style, then they should dictate it. And like Tick said, you know, they should implement actually something in the game if they really care about, you know, people camping or doing 360 no scopes or basically just exploiting the game, period. So, nope, it's stupid, but it would have been funny if this shit was true. <laughs> but I don't think it's true at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of rumor talk for you guys. Let's move on to the hottest game of the week. Titanfall came out last week. First of all, it was a 50 <laughs> gigabyte install on the PC with 30 gigabytes of data being strictly for uncompressed audio. What the fuck? So basically, if you don't understand what I'm saying, there was more there was more data here for audio than actual content. Which is one of my issues that we're about to get into, but you might want to take the floor on Titanfall. <laughs> man, I told y'all, I told you, Negro I Davis. told you, I told y'all, man. Like y'all's getting hyped over it. Everybody just want that Call of Duty killer, man, and Titanfall just ain't it. Just ain't it. It's not going to do it. Can I say the game is actually it? It it's fun, but it, any it, game but is fun though. Like any game can be fun. Like you can play black ops or we can all get on ghost and we'll still have a little bit of fun until all we get tired of that bullshit <laughs> that's that's just the only thing like any game will be fun when you first start playing especially if it's brand new it's well, we, gonna be fun. we get tired of it because it's too easy and jg was sitting there <laughs> complaining talking about ah this game ain't moving me and that i was like come play with the wind squad shout out to the wind squad you know who you are it's me ethos jg black apex blazing you know what I'm saying? When we get together and we play Titanfall, we don't lose. We don't lose. Like we we went like two hours straight playing and we didn't <laughs> lose. One. No, 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 no. We played nah, Pylon mode. We played Pylon <laughs> mode. Play oh, yeah, okay, okay. which is killing other people. We didn't lose once. Like out of the two hours, we was so we just got bored with it. We was like, eh, we're done. Like it, it's see, too easy. That thing. Yep. See. I, 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 but look, look. This is the thing though. I thought it would take at least a month before I would I, get bored with I it, say. and it took, it took, it didn't even take a week. It took a few days because the game yes. was too easy. Yes, I said yeah, a month, you were right. But, yes, but, you were right. It's still for some people. It's going to be a month. Some people haven't found that out yet. They still in the honeymoon period. They'll find out. It'll be over in a month. 
<laughs> I, 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 I said it, man. Yeah, but I've never, like, even if you go back to the debate and my little beta impresses, I never said that I would be playing it for long. I gave it a month, so. Oh, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking well, about yeah. everybody else that, that and called I, me stupid and dumb in the debate. Yeah, I, I said it was going even, to be fun, even, and it was fun. My but even the people, even <laughs> even the people who were name calling in the debates at the same thing, we were playing like, yeah, this is too easy. we <laughs> we keep winning. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, <X-Pops. laughs> I thought that was funny, but what do you think about uh, the game overall, JG? Well, I already put up my little final review, but just a little overview of it. Um, I'm really mad about the campaign, and I'm not gonna lie. It, I know that a lot of people are going to say, well, you, you didn't really expect it to have a really can- like a campaign anyways, but the fact that it even said play campaign, I, I honestly thought that it was just going to be multiplayer and then they do a little elements of the game or whatever, but they actually had a play campaign section. That's what I'm mad about because it wasn't a campaign. Like, you literally had no cutscenes and I couldn't really pay attention to what was going on in the beginning and throughout when you're actually playing through the match. I was just killing people and I didn't have time to pay attention to what they were talking about. So that's the real reason why I'm mad. Everything else, it was pretty much expected and I had low expectations. So I can't be too mad, but out of everything, that's what I'm mad about. That, that we were we were bang. under the impression though that like basically it was gonna be a multiplayer only game and then after you win or lose like maybe like a little voice acting scene or something plays that gives a little bit of the story like that's what i was under the impression though but like jg said there's actually a on the menu that says press play campaign so i was expecting more after i had seen that and it was really some fuck shit and then let's talk about that weapon selection which is completely trash i i I forgot to mention this in the review like i was sitting there listing all the weapons i forgot to mention that smart pistol you know you can't use that i mean you could use it but you're an asshole that shotgun's ridiculous there's two snipers in the game and you might as well just throw them away because the game is too fast paced you can't snipe in the game so the, the the weapon selection is very limited in this game and I mean, if you guys like paying for more DLC for shit that should have been on the disc, uh, I guarantee I guarantee you they already have weapons and maps ready to motherfucking go because it was supposed to be on the dicks. The disc, I mean, that's a dick. You know, (laughs) you're about to say dick riders. You know, these bots are going to be buying. They're going to leave a comment right as we speak. Well, I I feel okay with my purchase, you know, because we, we were saying this should have been $15. I think it's worth 60 bucks, And I don't have a problem, you know, dishing out a, another 15 bucks for a game that I enjoy. So if they put out the DLC, I will definitely put out the money for it because I'm just that much of a game. <laughs> See, I, I told people from the jump that this game wasn't worth $60 when I found out about that multiplayer only. And now after playing the game, I know that it's definitely not worth $60. I got it for 33 bucks, so I'm not entirely mad, but they could have that campaign where it was the so fuck all that we already know that the dlc is gonna make and break the game and if they don't come out with it um in a timely fashion this game is is dead it's dead on arrival like this is dumb man now, now with that being said i did see a good argument from someone on a video <laughs> on modern warning's video i think it was now you can counter this argument but dude said so you got a problem with the game and you think it should be 15 bucks because it's only multiplayer only with a limited single player and he said, well, did you think Bioshock should have been $15 because it was just single player only, Bioshock Infinite? No, because Bioshock like, Infinite had a well-written story and it had the solid gameplay and all that shit. There's more content there, you could argue. It's more somebody. to take in. Like, I could tell you I could tell you what happened in Bioshock because it, it touched me, basically. Same thing with, like, The Last of Us. I sound, that sounds corny. But, like, I could tell you everything that happened in The Last of Us because it touched me. Like, Titanfall doesn't touch me. It's mind-numbing. <laughs> yeah, somebody else tried to get a little dumb argument that that doesn't work when a game is meant to be fully single player and they actually took their time and they made it expansive so no you can't really give that argument when you're trying to compare titanfall also, to any other well, game that's purely single buddy. player sorry keep in mind keep in keep in mind all these single player games majority of them nowadays nowadays have branching paths in them you can usually choose to be good or evil they have like um what is it the, the skill trees where you can all you can also choose what you want to say and shit there's just usually more content in these and then you can also choose the difficulty i mean it, I, I don't know man like if it was if it was a full-fledged multiplayer game that had more content 
that was my main complaint with the game. It just didn't have enough content. I felt like yeah, like this this game honestly it wasn't it a was, bad game. It was, I just felt like they just added a little bit compared to the beta. Like I was expecting a little bit more because if it was going to be multiplayer only, I would expect you to at least have a little bit uh, a little bit more as far as a selection. At least give me like two more Titans on top of the three you already had. So I was just expecting a little bit more from launch, but uh, we already know what's going to happen when the yeah. DLC drops. Then they're going to come out with some more shit, but I still feel like if they don't come out with it in, uh, in a timely fashion that, that this shit is already That's done. So a stupid was- argument. I'm going to give you the perfect example to the whoever asked that. I played I played the original Mass Effect. I played through it eight times, completed it eight times. And each time in those eight times, I found something new that I didn't find in the last playthrough. Plus, I played a different class because it it's an RPG. Same thing with Mass Effect 2. I played through like three or four times and I beat it. Each time, I found something that I didn't find in the original playthrough. It's just far more content. And I can't stress like content. I don't understand what you guys don't get. But whatever, I'm done. I get, I get what he's trying to say, though. I, I get what he's trying get, to say. Uh, I'm smiling. Like, I'm I, 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 That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm right. saying. That's good. Right. I, I, I was right. And, and and look, I like I said, I didn't say Titanfall sucked. I never said that. I never, you never heard that come up my mind. My main problem was that I, people caught on to the hype just because I know it was the fact that they want Call of Duty to die. They 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 they've jumped on this. I gotta hate Call of Duty train. So they see this game come out. It looks similar to Call of Duty. It has mechs in it. It's, it's you could bounce off walls and parkour. Automatically, they're thinking, and it's made by the original, you know, people of Infinity War. You know, people always say that was the best Call of Duty was Call of Duty Four, and then they were the original Infinity War. So they automatically had in their mind that, oh, this is going to be the best shooter ever, and it turns out that it wasn't. And I could tell from the beta, it was too easy. Um, I didn't like the bots. I still to this day don't like the bots. They could, they could have gotten rid of those bots and just had regular human players. Um. The, the the um titans for one thing like they, they could have made it so like mech warrior or hawken they have different types of mechs um like you have a small titan which is going to be faster he can jump he's more athletic um but he he, te- he can't take a lot of shots he doesn't do much damage they could have had a medium sized one that's a little bit more balanced and they could have had a heavy one that can't jump at all he's slow and he does a lot of damage let me Something let me like stop that. you there let me stop you there because they do Oh, they do? Yeah. Yeah, because they, yeah, they, they have the Strider. Yeah, they, they have the Strider, which is a light one, and he can he can dash incredibly fast, but he dies easily. Then you have the average one, which is a medium, and then you have the Ogre, which can take a lot of damage, but he's slow as shit. Oh, so they do. Cool. It's, it's it's rock, paper, scissors. Well, that wins on that part. They get, hey, they get points on that one. Good job. Um, Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I don't know how you think that's that. <laughs> that's, 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 pretty, that's pretty good. I'm actually, I, Let I'm me, actually um, glad they did that. Let me let me go back to what that dude was saying because he, he kind of got me heated. That, that sounds like Jesus. the mindset. He was just he was just asking nah, the man, question. Nah, nah, that's I'm like saying every, for a second. that's like saying every game before Titanfall wasn't worth purchasing because that moment before. <laughs> like, this is, this is the, <laughs> like this, this, that's a really bold statement, bro. This, this is the mindset of someone that I that would like to have a really you know a single player game that's meant to be single player and then have attacked on multiplayer and he can't justify a purchase on a purely single player game when it has an amazing single player and then you have a shitty ass multiplayer i.e a tomb raider if you want to talk about that game yeah it was shitty and um i felt like it shouldn't even be on there at all but you are forcing these developers to add on a multiplayer because you have the mindset that you don't want to pay 60 bucks for just a single player game and you want a you want more replay value out of your game and then they give you a shitty ass uh, multiplayer and then you're like well what the hell is this now the game gets a lower score because of uh, the multiplayer was shitty but this is what you wanted right i, I feel like that's some bullshit that's so, a counter counter argument right there yeah you need to get out of that mindset there there still can be games that are purely single player you do not i repeat you do not need a multiplayer tacked on bullshit in order for you to uh, justify your purchase if it's an amazing single player i'll leave it at that and i'll give another example i didn't even play the multiplayer for last of us you know why because that single player was the shit and that was my game of the year last year it did not need a multiplayer but people said that the multi player was actually fine you played it but i didn't i didn't i feel like i didn't need to play i will pay 60 bucks for that game it was amazing the shit you heard that he put emphasis on the shit the, the shit. shit 
Yeah, these, these kids, man. It, I, I think it goes back to like this this generation is so freaking ADHD. Like they just they want that most. I don't know, man. I'll tell oh, you what. Yeah. I seen I seen um a really good uh document not documentary commentary from a uh, Total Biscuit. Shout out to him. And he was talking about how mainstream media and he was calling out p he said rev three games i did games yeah definitely <laughs> he, said, rev three. He, he was like five out of five part of, no he, and he was saying part of the problem is a lot of these mainstream outlets they don't even review the game they're guilty of hyping the shit up and that's not your job your job is to critique the product and then let it be let let it be what it is but these people are hyping these games he said ign has over two thousand articles on titanfall that is fucking ridiculous and that's why these people so when a review like mine comes out and i gave it a fairly positive review but i had a few criticisms of the game then they go crazy in the comments talking about you don't know what you're talking about ign's got two thousand articles clearly this is the game of the gear shut the fuck up stop buying it like they, they got to stop hyping shit and they need to start doing their job i thought it was a really good commentary people need to think for themselves that's the problem people have to go off other people's words and they go off the majority that's why i always say this about you know shooters nowadays people have to go off the majority they're afraid to speak for themselves they're afraid to speak outside the box or be, do something outside the box if you do anything outside the box you're automatically called what i'm called by everybody in the comment section a hipster that's because i don't like every game that you guys like i'm automatically a hipster i can't have my own opinion i can't not like something that you like like come on son like that's crazy but yeah, Titanfall, man. I knew it was going to be all hype. I knew it was going to fail after a few. I said a month. Well, it didn't fail. <laughs> oh, no, that shit, that shit failed. It just got, it just got boring faster than that's, I that's thought. That's a failure. That's a failure. Um, because it was supposed to be the hottest thing since you know canned bread. It was supposed to be the revolutionary. Did like, you say canned bread? He yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. He, he also he also SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, go SpongeBob ahead, yo. <laughs> go ahead, son. So, so you know they were supposed to be you know what's considered the, the next gen the first. I was man, I think Adam Sessler said that it was like the introduction to first person shooters, next gen first person. I'm like, have you played Battlefield? Like, I don't know what you mean by that. Um, and like I said, it's nothing really innovative about the game. Like Respawn has this reputation when they were Infinity War. What they do is they would take a it would take stuff from successful games and they would put it into their game and win because of that. And that's what they did with Titanfall. They took some from Call of Duty, they took some from Hawking or Mech Warrior, whichever you want to choose, and they took um from Brink. And I just found out recently don't, don't, I didn't don't, play Brink. Don't don't forget oh. um what uh what's the what's the wall running game? Uh Brink. No, uh, Brink, no, Brink have the same as that. If you type in Brink, parkour, you could, you could wall run, right. yeah, exactly you could, you could do parkour. Like Titanfall. Uh, okay, exactly I'm exactly like it. What was the one what with the girl? About, though. The one yeah, with what, I, uh, I can't think of the name right now. Mirror's Edge, Mirror's Edge, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah you talking about that, but now nah, Brink looks like exactly like Titanfalls, like they look hand in hand. Like, if you took both of them, like minimized both videos and put them next to each other, like Brink looks exactly like Titanfall when it comes to the parkour. Same speed and everything. And somebody left a comment on my video. He was like coming at me too. Like, you just hating trying to be different. This game is innovating. I said the same thing to you. It literally just took a bunch of elements from the game, other games, and then kind of mashed it together. The game is fun, but I think you need to look up what the word innovative means because there's nothing innovative about Titanfall. Right, like yeah. it's not necessarily bad that they took the ideas and put them all together, but you can't say that it's innovative and it's and it's starting up a next generation of first person <laughs> shooter. O <laughs> Oculus, Oculus Rift is innovative. Like I don't think y'all understand what innovative is. <laughs> Battlefield was innovative. Well, actually no, Battlefield wasn't even innovative. Uh with the I was gonna say with the destructive environments, but if, if you go all the way back to the PlayStation two days and play a game called Red Faction was a first person shooter that was the first game I ever played that had destructible environments what's you the name make your own holes yeah i love that game titanfall is evolutionary what he was trying to he's trying to basically say it was revolutionary but there's a difference between revolutionary and evolutionary there's nothing wrong with evolution i don't right. see why it's revolutionary I I just, no, e evolutionary because it combined all those elements and it made it work that was brings downfall it wasn't uh it wasn't it wasn't um polished basically 
Nah, Brink's downfall was it wasn't made by the original Infinity War. <laughs> this <laughs> guy. <laughs> He's kind of right, though, because I know a lot of people that didn't even, you know, get a game a chance. I game flooded it because I wanted to see what it was about. And I initially was like, man, this game played like trash. And then I played it again. I went ahead and played the campaign. I was like, all right, you know, this game isn't half bad. But I stopped playing it early because my friends weren't on there. Like I said in my video that I'm about to upload that you will see, you know, before you see this podcast video. But if the video, if Titanfall, instead of was called Titanfall, let's say when it came out, it had, you know, instead of Respawn Entertainment, it had Infinity Ward as the name. And instead of Titanfall, it was called Call of Duty Titanfall. Would you have been interested in the game and would you have played the game and would you have liked the game if you have played it? I'm pretty sure about, I want to say about 70% of you guys would even not even want to try the game if he did try the game you would hate it after a few days and say it was another call of duty just with easy mode bots and mechs and you that's actually it. hmm that's interesting take that you said that that would be an interesting experiment to see if people would actually try it uh, i think you, i think you're on to something there though yeah they wouldn't have liked it the first thing they saw was oh it has bots in it they made a game that was easy already easier and they had mechs it's going to be op i'm not playing attrition this game. attrition mode sucks in titanfall can i just say that 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 is like one of the worst creations of game modes in years <laughs> like it's terrible like because like once you go because we've been playing we were playing pilot hunter so much we decided to switch it up because we were tired of winning and we went to go play attrition and we lost a couple games and it wasn't because the team was better than us we had more pilot kills than them but it was because they were killing more bots than us and I'm like, this game is not even about skill. These faggots are shooting more bots than us. Like, like I had already developed the habit of killing other players, and they've developed the habit of killing bots. Like, it's just a stupid mode. But whatever. And then, and then the parkour in the game is just a gimmick because I'm watching Call of Duty guys, you know, people play Call of Duty, and they're playing the game just like it's Call of Duty, and they're getting like 119 attrition points. Uh, some of them went undefeated like Thunder. He went, he didn't even die. He went like 18 and 0 or something. Bro, I have you know like, did? Stay on 12, the ground the whole time. I have, I have like, <laughs> 20 30 hours of gameplay and i guarantee you at least like a fourth of them are uh a flawless games where i didn't die like i like it's so easy it's ridiculous yeah and this guy has he his last video he said he had only one minute of uh parkour on um, time while he was playing and he played like so many hours i was like that's crazy he had like so many days of playing only had like one minute of uh parkour I was like, wow, yeah, son. <laughs> I don't get it. I, I feel like by the time Destiny rolls around, because I, I feel like Destiny is going to be the hottest. Destiny <laughs> is going to be revolutionary and next gen first person shooters right there. That's we... going to be the game. And I'm hyping say... that one. Titanfall, does, <laughs> Titanfall doesn't even look next gen. Like, I, I noticed nobody even said that in the review. Like, Adam Sessler, how do you Adam claim Sessler this? Adam Sessler did. This is a. Get the fuck out of here. Can I say, like, I feel like he, <laughs> I feel like, I was I was thinking about this yesterday. I feel like I, he's lost credibility because what happened to the guy that was on X-Play where he was reviewing games and it seemed like he was having fun and he was, like, actually, like, funny. That's, like, what I liked about him. Now he's, like, he's, like, I feel like he's, like, a pompous asshole. Like, he just, I feel like I got to get a dictionary out when I watch one of his reviews. I don't really like rev games. Uh, I'm starting to dislike them. I mean, shout out to my boo Tara Long, but. Uh, <laughs> Adam, I'm not really feeling him. Like he should be using big words for no fucking reason. Like, do you like the game or not, nigga? Damn, like that's how I feel about him. But whatever. All right, well, can we, we officially move yeah. on? Yeah, because <laughs> I feel like it's about to be a debate again. <laughs> Let's move on, say. Uh, uh, according to Tick, Xbox One is now getting Direct X12. What did you want to say about this? That shit bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you hey. unaware, it gives improved textures. But go ahead, Tick. Yeah, come on, Microsofties. I don't watch the million, or if you guys want to call them Xbox, but I like Microsofties better. Um, I watched a million videos from a whole bunch of Microsofties doing podcasts, talking, and this, this is shots fired, bang bang. If you know who they are, but doing podcasts talking about DX to uh twelve coming to the Xbox One, and it's going to. It means the Xbox is stronger than the PlayStation and all that stuff. Now, the thing is, if you have hardware that is not stronger than the than the PlayStation 4, even if you get Direct X12, it's not going to improve your hardware. So you're still going to be struggling. If anything, you're going to be running games at a lower resolution. They're going to struggle more because it's higher textures. <laughs> yeah, it's trying to push more textures. Now, they can streamline it um, and make things run a little bit better. But you're still not going to get those higher resolutions. You might get better textures, but you're still going to have a lower resolution than the PlayStation 4. So it's not going to, it doesn't mean that your console is stronger. 
It just means that you just got some little drivers that improve the textures a little bit and may run them a little smoother depending on if the Xbox can do so. Hey, but they know what they're talking about, right? <laughs> <That's> too funny. <laughs> I'm I'm all these guys are console gamers too that are you know going nuts about this. Yeah, um, I, I still find it funny to this day that they're still arguing about resolution and and us who game on a PC are just sitting there like these dummies are uh, sitting there talking about shit they don't even know about, but then they want to come at a PC gamer when we talk about it. That's, yeah, you that's can't real say funny. That you're a PC elitist if you if you <laughs> if you come at them about that. Resolution Gate 2014. You can never say a console guy is wrong if you play PC because you're automatically a PC elitist. Can't do right, that. right, right, right. I guess I'm a PC elite dude. <laughs> like, I, 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 fuck it, I'll take it. Uh, what's the That's name? Too funny, dog. On the like, Sony. I, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I'm just saying, like they were just looking so stupid. Like, why won't they? Like, why won't they just give up, yo? Like, like I said before, for years in consoles, yo, it's always that one console that's better than the other one, like power wise, like. Just deal with it and enjoy your games, yo. Like, why are you still debating on which resolution is better, which Texas is better? All that nonsense, yo. I so swear y'all don't play games. I swear y'all don't play any damn games. I still want to see that $12,000 They computer. play. They play Skype. They play, <laughs> they play sit in the Skype call with 20 other niggas so everybody can talk over each other, and then they call it a debate. <laughs> think about that <laughs> oh boy niggas about to go tail 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 all they, do, tail. All they do is hate on sony but they try to say they're not biased oh i'm not biased you know i, I like it across but i'm just saying you know and then they just go on a tangent just getting on sony the whole time and just talking good about xbox like come on it's like cut it out cut yeah it out. just just accept it you all love microsoft and you hate sony and you won't give sony a chance and for some reason you all want to have this this magical battle with Microsoft versus Sony. I don't understand, but whatever. Mm. Mm. But you ain't gonna ride out mm. for your console, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you, gonna, you, gonna, you, gonna, you gonna take a bullet for Microsoft? Uh, nah, nah, nah. You got, you got stock in Microsoft? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> they don't even know what stock is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's the name? Uh, on the Sony side of things, um, they still haven't came out with the ADCP patch. Uh, shout out to Sony for that, liars. Um, mm-hmm. PS4 went up fifty bucks in Canada, and the games are also going up to seventy dollars. How do you guys feel about this price hike in Canada? Well, I'm not in Canada, so I guess this doesn't really <laughs> better to me. But now um, you sound like somebody in the comments. <laughs> I, I didn't have that. no bugs and glitches when I played. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't understand. This is very random. I don't, I don't know why I would go with fifty bucks in another, another country just because. But they explained um, it. You gotta, you gotta read it. Um, it's pretty much, you know, Canada's currency is, bit, you know, ours is lower than this, so. Yeah, but wouldn't it balance out? Like they never, I never heard about them caring about it at any other time. So why would they just randomly go up? Unless um, with the tax and everything, it just balances out to being fifty dollars more here, and that's what they were comparing because we already knew that. But that sounds like a, a huge number. Yeah, well, if when they pay four fifty over there, it actually equals up to four hundred where we are. So that's how they did the numbers. And when they pay seventy for the game, is equal to sixty. Or what we're paying here, True. so it's, it's 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 not really hurting them. I mean, it sucks for them because they were getting PC prices or stuff, but now they're going to be paying pretty much the same amount that we pay for our consoles and uh, our games and stuff like that. Ah, uh, okay. Well, so yeah, the that currency does, exchange that does rate is different, basically. Yeah, pretty much. So that's that's why. Yeah. So yeah, that was kind of something I already knew, but that's I mean that's interesting that they would do that. Okay. I yeah, didn't know we was, I didn't know we was that far apart as far as currency. I always felt like we were somewhat equal. We still have like some of the poorest currency in the in the world, so uh, all I know is Canadian goods <laughs> and stuff don't cost they don't they don't matter at all over here, so that's why. <laughs> so and uh some that story up, Canada takes another L. Um <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's cut on the sad music, you guys. It's time for the Nintendo news. Um Nintendo Nintendo is killing their Wi Fi services come May twentieth. Basically, what this means is if you own a Nintendo DS or you own a one of the original Wii's, then you will not be able to play online. You will not be able to play from the eShop. So if you're a competitive um, online Smash Bros. Brawl player, good luck with that. Uh, what do you guys think of this? <laughs> you want to go take or you want me to take the floor? 
You take the floor, sir. Alrighty. Um, yeah, good job, Nintendo, because you're successfully killing off two consoles. Well, console and handheld. Um, but you're killing two of your devices. I don't understand why, but I remember this article because they said that they're trying to clear up server space for the new Smash Brothers and the new Mario Kart on the Wii U. But then again, how much server space do you really have if Microsoft... they don't got voice chat. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't you don't have voice chat. You don't have some of the standard features that the other consoles have. And I can't tell you how long that Microsoft kept the original Halo 2 servers up on the original Xbox. They kept those servers up for so long. It was like till 2008, right? Of, yeah, it was a very long time. So that just tells you that what you're doing is, is kind of some bullshit. And Xbox 360 is still going on strong. PS3 is still going on strong. And uh, Sony, they kept making games for the PS2 for the longest. I can't even tell you. I, I don't even remember the last game. It was some sports game, but they kept, they kept just, making games for that. Like I, support. Just, I had a brain blast. <laughs> I had like an epiphany. Didn't, <laughs> didn't the 360 come out before the Wii U? The Wii? It, did co- it, came it was 05, wasn't yeah. it? It was mm-hmm. 05. And the Wii came out 06, and the Wii is shutting down first. Ain't that funny? That's so funny. So, yeah, I don't I don't know what they're doing with that. But, uh, yeah, you, you basically kill the console because they're not going to be able to do anything. When you're killing Wi-Fi, oh, yeah, with the, um, if you didn't know, the Wii does not have an Ethernet port in the back. It's purely wi-fi so if you're killing wi-fi you're not only killing your servers so they can't play the games you're also killing the apps like netflix so you're not even going to be able to watch netflix on it so uh good job nintendo <laughs> I don't yo, know y'all doing, y'all fucked up. yo i feel like nintendo has like a, a lab monkey in their office and they just got like little boxes with certain things to check off and they just handed that man a pen and he just Scratch something on there and it was just cut the internet off because oh, 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 monkey I, I door. <laughs> that was so racist. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why they I don't know why they did that dog. Like Nintendo man, I don't know what's going on. What are they thinking about? But they need help, bro. Like somebody needs to get over there and let them know what the Western crowd wants. Like they are tripping, dude. And, and another thing, man, you Nintendo guys, man, I'm saying support Nintendo, and I already explained why, because Nintendo's been around forever. That was the very first console I've ever owned. So I have a special place in my heart for them. But I will not buy a Wii U unless they come up with some games I want. And and another thing, like I don't understand why they keep trying to tag behind these other consoles graphically. Like I know Mario does not need to be photorealistic. I mean, come on, it's Mario. Well, Nintendo's, his- Nintendo's um, belief has always been that you don't need to uh, make something expensive to have fun with it. That's always been that since, like, the NES days. Like, that's, it doesn't have to have the best graphics, but I, like, I feel... for them over there in Japan. They can, they, can make the weakest, they can make the weakest console of the three, but I feel like it should be at bare minimum on par, at least. How about you just make the, the, the thing good-looking... Make it so it keeps up with the other consoles, but then when you have your Mario games, you can downgrade the graphics. I mean, it's Mario, Zelda. I mean, no one really needs that to look photo realistic. Right. And then, like, the fanboys, like, y'all are making it worse on y'all too, because y'all just accept everything. You damage control every issue that Nintendo does, and you just go, well, I don't care. I don't think it's that bad, and, da, 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 da. and you're the cause of it, yo. You can't support this. If you, if you hurt their pocket, yo, you will let them know, like, Yo, I don't want this. You go on the forums and you post what you want on the console, then they'll understand, you know. Like, but if you're gonna sit there and buy it, of course they're gonna keep doing the super stuff. Of course they're not gonna understand. And they're just gonna keep messing up. And Yo. yeah, you might buy the console, but it's a lot of other people that's not gonna buy the console, and that's hurting Nintendo. And that means that company that you love, because Nintendo has a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but they're also losing a lot of money. And for the last few years, they're losing a lot of money. And I know Nintendo Wii was you know, high at one point, but then after that, they declined for like the last few years and then they're definitely declining now. So they're losing a lot of money right now. And one of these days, you know, Nintendo might not be around. Yeah, that's all I got to say about that right now. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the technical difficulties. Um, <laughs> Nintendo, <laughs> there's other news. Nintendo is talking about possibly bringing their games to mobile market. And if they did, they would charge 99 cents to make Mario jump higher. How you guys feel about that? Uh, yeah, everybody is. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> that shit is dumb as hell, yo. Like, I don't, I don't understand why anyone would pay, even if it's a dollar. I don't know why you would pay that to make Mario jump higher. It reminded me of a uh, T Martin when he said on one of his videos. I think this was actually the video when he was complaining about the YouTube changes. And he was saying that Mario used to be able to double jump, and I wasn't done with the video as soon as he said. He's struggling, bro. I, yeah, he's struggling. <laughs> the struggle is real yeah y'all don't the know curse. what we go through when we record the, these podcasts the, yeah the curse has been transferred to me this is ridiculous <laughs> you turn that. Oh, this is hilarious you, know, you sound like a video game B right uh, let's just, uh, let's move on. Um, one of the pieces of news I got. Tax reform, they're talking about, they wrote up a bill suggesting that people who play violent video games should pay more taxes. Do you think you should pay more taxes because you play violent video games? Oh, well, I would quit playing games altogether. They pass the studio. No, that's not getting voted in. That's, I don't even care about that one. It's not getting voted in. My thing What's is, that? what what define what defines what's a violent video game and what's not? Because even the most childish video games, like freaking Elmo Mario. Land, or like or like yeah, like even like Mario, like you're jumping on Goombas and you're killing them. So what exactly is violent? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, are they reaching? Are we going to be taxed for watching violent movies? Yeah, be taxed more for that. <laughs> <laughs> is that going to be an extended tax or TV? Like, if we want to turn to, if uh, uh, they're going to tax your Walking Dead. Yeah, like if a violent show comes on, like you got to pay like a dollar and fifty cents more just to watch it. Like, is that is that how it's going to work? Because everything is violent. Like, I don't understand why they're just coming at video games. Like, that's the only form of media that is violent. I made a video about this a while ago. People have been violent before video games. There's been school shootings. Uh, mass murders and everything way before video games existed and it's not like it increases because of these video games I don't understand why they keep you know going at video games for this reason like it's stupid to me AG are you there and do you want to talk or are you still struggling he and his family AG uh, I don't want I don't want to talk if I'm struggling shit. nah you're not struggling you good, you're good. Good. You're good. yeah now but y'all y'all put the curse on me man <laughs> I, I've, been, I've been the one I've been the one who never struggled. Now I'm struggling. That's some bullshit. <laughs> so, yeah. What's your opinion, sir? Well, basically, I mean, basically you uh, you touched on everything. I'm not trying to say too much. Um, but yeah, it's always been violent. So I, I feel like this is some bullshit. Hey, do you think that because I record with uncompressed audio, that's using a lot more bandwidth? It would use a lot more bandwidth. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> Yeah, that, I gotta, that I gotta stop use doing a that. bit more bandwidth, sir. Okay, I gotta stop doing that. Oh, uh, man, oh my, what, what was that? <laughs> I struggled again. Was I that, don't know that, what that was. Was that you and, or NWN? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, this has been Game of the Illuminati episode 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is pure struggle, bro. Oh, my, oh goodness, my God. They added a new uh, character in Street Fighter. How you guys feel about that? Oh Lord, that character, that character. Yo, I know y'all looked at that that video. If you're a Street Fighter head, you had to look at it. You know, me, I don't really get into 2D fighters like that, but I still, you know, look at Street Fighter every once. Well, actually, I look at Street Fighter a lot. But um, the character, they could have brought somebody else back. Like they could have brought an old character back. Like if you actually watch the video, like they show like the the very the guy from the very first Street Fighter, and then they show this little wrestling chick. I don't know who she was, but they show her and he and pretty much and Bison knocks them both out of the screen because he doesn't. He's like, okay, they're not going to be in the game. And then all of a sudden, you see this character who has an uncanny resemblance to another character that's in Street Fighter. And Cammy. some of the moves are easy. To say. Yeah, Cammy. And some of the moves are even the same. And I'm like, yo, like, why would you want to pay for another game just to get pretty much the same character? This is a few, I know somebody's gonna damage control. Like, well, they, not all Wait, so I ones. haven't seen this trailer, so it's the same. It's it. Cammy's the one to be wearing the thong, right? Yep. Yeah. So it's the same thing as her. It, it, it looks. It looks just like her, like, like same hell. Uh, she has a mask. 
uh, this character and Cammy doesn't. Uh, but they have the same little move sets, or at least like the standard move sets. So some of them are the same. Uh, but I, I like the character though. Uh, minus it basically being Cammy, just with you know some other moves, some trickery. But you know the the Street Fighter heads will you know they'll they'll eat on it. They like the game, so they they don't care as long as there's some new characters and Street Fighter lives on, they'll enjoy it. How come you're going out of business? You fucked up. It sounds like sounds like bankruptcy to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and let you know the, actually hold up to let you know how much people are liked it if you go to the video on game trailers it has more dislikes than likes for real true, <laughs> true. that's pretty funny yeah so I guess people yeah. are getting sick of that shit um yeah. Metal Gear Solid drops tomorrow today is Monday in which we're recording so it drops tomorrow on Tuesday two hours long it had a price drop it was originally $60 <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> What? Hey man, I'm starting to get paranoid. I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe that's my father trying to communicate to me or something because that sounds crazy, bro. Oh uh, uh, man, I'm trying to do it again. Oh. <laughs> All right, look. Hey, you got some white noise going on, bro. Sorry, I got- <laughs> sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Metal Gear Solid, two hours long. It was supposed to be sixty dollars, but then it came out that it was two hours long. They got a price drop. Kojima says he expects low sales. Will you be picking up Metal Gear Solid? Uh, what is it? Ground Zeroes, whatever the hell it's called. If it's fifteen bucks, yes. <laughs> this guy. Wait, hold it. Is, um, is it only on next gen? No, it's on next gen and current gen. So that's why I'm getting it on the PS3. Bro. See, so, yeah, I'm I'm game flying it. Um, um, I definitely wouldn't get it if it was sixty dollars. If I found I out that it was only two hours. Good. But yeah, I'm, I'm copping it though. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna play it. And they're right on. And you know how you said I was echoing? You can hear me in the background when I talk. Y'all notice that, right? I don't so hear it. from JG's and. You know, JG ain't got no furniture, so. Bang, bang. <laughs> bang, bang, JG. <laughs> what is it that? He was echoing. He was echoing when you first got that mic. I'm telling you, all, the, all your illnesses are coming to me. <laughs> I'm not saying you're no, you're not echoing. I'm just saying I can hear myself. So now this is now this is the blame whose fault is it podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, that should be the title. Whose fault is it? The struggle <laughs> is real. Amazon is coming out with their own special console. Supposedly it's like going to stream games and like kind of like how Chromecast can stream your browser to your TV. <laughs> What'd I say? Chromecast instead of Chromecast. Uh, true. Fuck you guys <laughs> you too. <good>. What's the name? <laughs> Would you guys be picking up this streaming console from Amazon? Uh, the controller also leaked too. I don't know if y'all seen it. I, I saw that too. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> like, why? Mm-hmm. Why would I think Amazon would literally have to come out with games that I can't get on anything else? <laughs> and if this is true about them being able to stream PC games, I have a PC. That's what I'm communicating on. That's what I'm playing games on. Uh, I have no reason to get this. So no. Yeah, and I don't. Want Somebody's to mic is farting. Yeah, yeah, we know what it is, but it's not. So now it's me. Saying, so, so now it's me. Hey, anyway, we heard what you're saying. So it, 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 it's not too bad. He muted himself though. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is like the biggest clusterfuck of an episode, yo. No, the last one was. Um, we're, we're gonna finish this, so we're gonna finish this. We're gonna finish strong. But um, I don't want it. Um, mainly because. I don't need a streaming device uh, for video games. And, you know, if I want that, I get the PS now or whatever. But I do want to get a PS4. And if it's streaming PC games, like JG said, I already have a PC. I don't need that. Um, and lastly, yo, the controller. Like, I know they saw countless and countless videos of people talking about how crappy the Atari Jaguar controller was by the build of it. And that controller that we saw, that's supposed to be the Link, the Link controller, Link, the Link controller, Looks just it looks very similar to the Atari Jaguar controller, yo. It's just bulky and ugly. Like I wouldn't want to use that son. It, it looks bad. Bro, I don't really care about this thing. Like they gotta they keep talking about this console, but they need to show some games like James. You gotta said. do a review on it though, son, because you did a review on the Oya, you gotta do a review on it. I might. It depends on how much it costs. I don't know, cause the people the, want it, son. The Ouya is in the trash can, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch got slam dunked into the trash can so look out for that amazon console we don't really know what to expect i do know that amazon bought double helix and double helix made killer instinct 
So, uh, you know, they got a studio, but what are they making is the question. So. Are they going to make a killer instinct for the Amazon? Right? That'd be hot. Nah, they can't like, do that because don't Microsoft own the license? Helix just, to... Helix just developed I it. I don't know. To buy they, I'm pretty sure they bought it from Rare. I don't want to be a Microsofty. <laughs> this guy, this guy. <laughs> and maybe, um, maybe they'll get like one exclusive. And that's it. I mean, one more than the ooh, yeah, buzzing. All right. <laughs> and our last piece of news um, Sony and Panasonic are developing a 300 gigabyte disc. Um, this is going to be hold more data than the Blu ray, basically. There hasn't been a name, I don't think, for this disc. But what do you guys think of this new 300 gigabyte disc? Yo, that sucker sounds like it's going to cost about 120 bucks just to buy that disc. It's one. So, it's a disc. Th- Hey, hey, Blu-ray DVDs are like forty dollars. Okay, it's gonna cost about ninety. I'll give it that. My bad. Who buys DVDs? <laughs> you know I mean? It's called a Blu-ray DVD, bitch. Shut up. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. I know what it's called. I listed oh. there. I said who buys it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So, oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot of money for that, yo. But like, hey, if they if they come out. Man, maybe what if this is for the PS4 since Sony did help with it? What if they're going to you know, have a newer media system? So that means it's going to hold oh, way more memory. This and is a, games a, be amazing. Yeah, it's, it's going to be the new uh, new concept. So the Blu ray is pretty much a new concept now because the even Xbox is yet. And that 4K though. Well, I have, to, I have to disagree with Tick because Tick said that with this 300 gigabyte disc, the games are going to be amazing. I disagree because. If the industry follows trend of Titanfall, <laughs> what do we need 300 gigabyte discs for? There ain't no content on any of the disc anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> the sound would be amazing, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 300 gigabytes, it'd be 299 free. It ain't nothing to do with these damn discs. Uh, this has been Struggle Illuminati episode 20. <laughs> uh, can we get your closing statements for tonight's episode? Tick, go. Um, it's nice to be back, man. I, like I said, I've been gone for a while um, because of the tragic death of my dad. Uh, like I said before, thank you guys for all the condolences. And uh, love my dad. You know, rest in peace to him. That's all I got, man. True, true. And uh, Mr. Beard, can we get your closing statement for tonight? Go. I'm sorry, guys. This has been a pure struggle. Like I'm, I'm literally pissed because we always had these low. So we, we're sorry that these, uh, these podcasts don't come out as expected as originally. But uh, hopefully, yeah, I you, 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 cut out, you cut out when you gave your speech, bro. It's, it's like you I, I can't, hookups. I can't, I can't win. I can't. Win. Done. I quit. <laughs> I think uh, my closing statement for tonight is come on Google, save my city, save Tick City, save everybody's damn city with Google Fiber, man. This internet shit is trash, bro. We can't do nothing. We struggling. JG Marcus fight farting and shit. So come on Google Fiber, infiltrate my city. And this has been Gaming Illuminati episode 20. I'd like to thank everybody for listening. Make sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes if you haven't already. Links to all the articles on everything that we discussed. We sort of discussed before we struggled out. We'll be in the description box below if you're watching the video version of the show. Once again, thanks for listening. But uh, we out this bitch. Shut the fuck up.